Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I'm ready for the event. European Space Agency, this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call Station for voice check. <coughs> Station, this is uh, Isa Jules Grancien. How do you hear me? Bonjour, Jules. I hear you very well. Thank you. I hear you very well. Thank you. Thank you. I introduce you now to NOS Rick van der Westerlaken. En het is nu tijd uh, om uh, contact te zoeken met het uh, ruimtestation ISS. Waar It's now the time to uh, seek contact uh, with the space station. Uh, yeah, here, And we're interviewing uh, Andre Kuipers. Here's the NOS, Andre, with your brother is also in the studio. How are you? Are you feeling at home out there? Ja, uh, uitstekend. Uh, ik zou, uh, yeah, ik zou best uh, lang kunnen wonen. En dat ga ik ook doen. I uh, dus, uh, could live here forever. And I uh, think it's going to happen to us. I feel excellent. Waar, waar zit je precies in het ruimtestation? And where are you in the space station exactly? Um, now, uh, ik had, uh, we zitten nu in de nachtkant van de aarde. Uh, now we are in uh, the low uh, uh, area of the earth. Ik kan even een mooie foto nemen van Nederland. And ik will uh, take a nice wollen. picture of the Netherlands, but uh, there was clouds uh, over the country. Ja, het is hier uh, nogal stormachtig zelfs. Dus, uh, yeah, that's correct. We have a storm happening. And uh, you probably won't see too much. And where in the space station are you at this moment exactly? Ja, we zitten hier in de Columbus module. Yes, we are here in the Columbus uh, module. Dit is de Europese, een van de Europese bijdragen. Dit is de European, uh, one of the European uh, add-ons uh, 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 from the ISS. Het is een laboratorium met een hoop uh, beautiful laboratorium uh, rekken voor experimenten. Uh, with many uh, different uh, and, uh, storage units for the experiments. For, and here uh, is it where we do all the experiments uh, for, for, the Europese for uh, ASA, the uh, European uh, Space uh, Station, and also for our colleagues. So, so uh, American uh, experiment, dus, uh, and we exchange the equipment, van andere, van de andere so equipment from uh, other, other partners and vice versa. Heb jij nou door dat je af en toe op je kop hangt, of voelt dat voor jou heel heel normaal? Is it since you're sometimes upside down? How do you feel when it happens, or is it normal out there? Nou, in het begin uh, is het wat. Uh, nou, in het begin is het wat uh, ja, heel veel difficult to adjust because uh, we are using everything: the, the ceilings, the walls. In het begin kan je dus dingen kwijt en de beginning, de verkeerde plekken kijken. Uh, maar you uh, look at the different uh, parts, area sometimes, but after a while, when you're upside down, uh, that uh, the ceiling becomes the floor. And the And so uh, the uh, space station is then four times as big. Andre, we hebben hier ook je broer Peter. Andre, we also have your uh, brother Peter here. Peter, here in the studio. It's a good question. Hi, Andre. Hey, it's so nice to hear you and see you. We have a lot of pictures from you and an uh, excellent explanation. And what I'm interested in is, uh, I'm to make it complete, how, what, how is the smell out there in the... Is nou, dat is een interessante vraag. Um, that is a very interesting toen ik rook het een beetje chemisch. We moeten het maken dat het een beetje schoon is. Like we zitten in de uh, we are cleaning here uh, always, and we're in a closed environment here, and that means that yeah, that we uh, have to have a clean environment with uh, all these cleaning items. So we have very cleaning tasks, and uh, you smell that as well. Yeah, it's a bit chemical in the beginning. Yeah, it's uh, probably in the beginning a little chemical smell. And I remember from my first flight, it smelled a bit like an oil residue. Heel snel niet meer ruikt. And but after a short time, you don't. Smell. Uh, because you cannot really just uh, open the window and get some fresh air from the outside. So you, you get used to it. In that case, uh, it's uh, very clean out here. Andre, how does your day there? Andre, what is your what is your daily task? How does it look like? Uh, yeah, now, verschillende dingen die. Uh, yes, uh, many different uh, kinds of items that we have to do. Uh, het onderhoud. Uh, we have the maintenance. Uh, af en toe moet uh, we vangen. Repair. Sometimes uh, we have to exchange items. Uh, en natuurlijk experiment. ook onze, zeg maar, onze and vrije tijd. Of course, uh, our uh, free time. time. We moeten elke dag well, sporten. Free time. Uh, uh, every day we must do sports to stay uh, in condition. En natuurlijk uh, hebben we uh, onze, onze maaltijden en dat soort zaken. And of course we have dus our is, meal times. Uh, ja, het is, het is redelijk veelzijdig. Ik well, it's, uh, it's different. It's uh, exciting. I work here with the different modules. I need to measure sometimes the oxygen in the Russian station, and then I have to. Opgaan de bergen in een vrieskast in het Japanse. Then I have to store something in the refrigerator in the Japanese area, and so you're using the entire station. 
We zien op Twitter heel veel foto's van je voorbij. We zien op Twitter een heleboel, uh, many pictures uh, from the space area. Wat is tot nu hebt gezien? Wat is until so far the, the, the nicest thing you have seen out there? Het mooiste. Uh, uh, the nicest. Het is mooi. Ja, yeah, the whole world is uh, beautiful. Ik ga hem even weghalen. <laughs> And uh, there's somebody in the picture here. Ik ga de wereld even weghalen. En uh... <laughs> kom weer terug. Oh, I'm, I'm back now. <laughs> ja, nou, wat heel mooi is, uh, ja, de hele wereld is mooi. Beautiful, wat, the uh, whole earth is, is beautiful. But one of the most uh, beautiful things is the sunset. Dat, uh, ja, It was fairly quick. Uh, and we had said about 16 times the sunrise and sunset. Uh, because we're flying in an hour and a half around the earth. And you have beautiful colors that when it happens. And also it's very beautiful on the desert, the islands in the South Pacific, and a beautiful different, different places. And of course it's beautiful to see uh, places where you have been on earth. And of course if there's no clouds then you can see the islands as well. De vorige keer was je nogal gesproken over de slechte... The last time uh, you were uh, kind of... You look at that uh, situation of what the earth looked like. Uh, do you see a difference right now? Nou, dat is natuurlijk heel moeilijk om te zeggen. Het well, that's very difficult to say. There's, uh, you know, these are temporary moment pictures. And uh, when you take uh, pictures by satellite with a, a, a large uh, time difference, then you see, or you might see difference. And what you see, uh, you see forest fires, you see uh, devastated areas. And uh, you, you see sometimes a fog about the, the, the big cities, smog pollution. And so sometimes it's really uh, to say, hey, that's different than another time. And that's why we have the satellites for uh, ESA. Uh, they have excellent equipment uh, and they could take a beautiful uh, overview and picture. And so what the astronauts see, uh, see very specific items and things. And for example, I was flying above the Amazon, and then you see the forest and the jungle and the barren areas in, that, uh, in the Amazon, and then you see, hey, um, I really look at the problem right now. Andre, uh, when you uh, went uh, from the rocket into the space station, Can you explain, tell us how that was? Ja, dat was natuurlijk een uh, bijzonder moment. Ja, yeah, dat was een very uh, special moment. We waren natuurlijk, uh, zeg maar, twee dagen. Uh, uh, we were two days in a very in a slaap, small capsule, uh, uh, not enough sleep. De camera die wordt weer teruggezet. En de uh, camera is weer back now. <coughs> so, Lack of sleep, we were very tired, but at the end uh, it, uh, it went back to normal. And so after two days when we floated uh, inside, then it was great to, to get into the big station. And it's very nice to see other people as well, which we knew from previous lives. Astronaut André Kuipers, veel succes daar en dank je wel. André Kuipers, big succes up there. Thank you. NOS portion of the event. I now introduce you to RTL Rick Nieman. And... Zal ik verstaan? Ja, nu versta ik jullie. Ah, nu kan ik je horen. Oké, hartstikke fijn. André, je ziet er goed uit. Nou, dat is fijn. Hé, André, je ziet er goed uit. Voel je je goed ook? Ja, ik voel me nu prima. Ja, ik voel me goed. De eerste dagen ben je toch een beetje aan het wennen. De eerste dagen moet je je gewoon aan het wennen. Er is wat ruimteziekte. 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 And the first couple of days you don't feel completely normal. Yeah, but you have more time now to get used to there. But you have more time now to get used to there. And compared with the last flight, and there are probably headaches and your intestines, everything is fine right now. Yeah, well, that's all. 
Yes, that's no problem. Everything is working as it should be. And floating is very nice. I know that when I come back to Earth, uh, that will be very nice. And then I can go back to my family and Earth and all the nice things out there. But the floating out here is uh, it's such a nice feeling. I will definitely miss that. André Nemel. André, can you also even way terug naar de lounge? Uh, to the lounge. We uh, all looked in, in uh, anticipation. And who, what was it? Uh, what was your experience when you was uh, were shut into the in this space? Yes, that was uh, for the people that see it. It's more interesting than for the astronauts. We know uh, exactly what's going to happen. We have so much training done on that. Uh, Lounge. We know all the aspects of the lounge, and sometimes actually it's a very quiet, normal. Uh, during the training, things can go wrong, but in reality, everything is, is running smooth, and we have plenty of time to uh, check the controls and wait for the green light. And we cannot really uh, see outside. Uh, uh, we only can do that at 80 kilometers at the height when the capsule is, is uh, out of there. And you're really concentrated on about three tasks that you need to do. And Otherwise, you just have to wait. And for the uh, audience uh, that uh, don't have the information, it's probably far more uh, interesting to look at than for us. Via uh, EDCNL, through EDCNL, our uh, viewers could uh, ask some questions uh, to you. And Andre, what a lot of people would like to know is if you did you experience a bit of. Uh, New Year's Eve, were you able to see some of the fireworks on Earth in space? Yeah, I've seen that question also through uh, Twitter. Now, uh, uh, fireworks, it looks big if you're underneath it, but it's an, uh, they are really tiny particles uh, from space. And maybe from, from 12 a.m. right around midnight, you have to be uh, right above a big city where a lot of people are, are using fireworks. And then it's maybe possible that you could see something, and there's probably pictures taken from space, but, but you see just very small, uh, tiny, tiny particles. So the chance that we really see something is minimal. Now, uh, have you guys celebrated uh, New Year's Eve? Yeah. Yes, we uh, flew around the Earth, and every hour somewhere is uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And that means that every time we can celebrate New Year's Eve, the first time we celebrated it uh, when we were at New Zealand uh, the, on the height, then we they really celebrated uh, when it was New Year's Eve and uh, 12 o'clock in Moscow, and then we went through Europe, and after that Houston, and after that it was already 6 a.m. in the morning. But we have we have celebrated many times. André, ook heel veel vragen van de kijkers. André, also many questions from the viewers about your personal hygiene. And you have a piece, you took a piece of cheese with you up there, but does it taste differently? Do you have an aftertaste in the space? Well, that's a really good question. According to hygiene, we don't have shower, we don't have running water. Everything that we do is with wet towels, and you get used to it. It looks like a bit uh, you're on a camping trip. And regarding the taste, it's very interesting because uh, there's a lot of blood on the water part of our bodies and the earth, and so that spreads out. You have a bit of a bloated face sometimes. But that also means that you can, you know, your taste is diminished. The taste is indeed slightly different, but I must say that the, the old Dutch cheese, it still tastes wonderful. And that means that, uh, that uh, everybody, my colleagues, really like it as well. Now, do you now, you're doing a lot of experience. Can you explain to us, Andre, what kind of experiments are you doing and what will it mean for us down the road? 
Ja, we hebben diverse experimenten. Yes, we have uh, many experiments. Uh, I have started uh, different experiments, as well European as American experiments. And one of the first one was an experiment that is a rollout, an experiment where you check the immune system of a person. So, for example, right before the launch, they take uh, some blood from uh, volunteers, and uh, we. Uh, I can test the blood here. We, we look at the, with the centrifuge uh, to see what the, the weightless effect on the blood is. And after a while, we, we throw some blood samples. Literally, we throw some blood samples oh, to take a look how certain fats and carbohydrates, we can check that and what the immune is in the human body. And we hope to understand why certain things change in our systems in space, but it gives also space for information for people about space, other instruments are looking at the heart. The heart muscle is uh, slightly less due to our weightlessness in space. And that's also what we do experiments with. And an experiment where I uh, look at orientation tasks while they look at my brain function. So at uh, different areas, we've done the medical research. André, you're up there, you go very fast, you see, of course, Earth very small, and sometimes you say, people saying that it must be a very strange experience, that you, that you start to think different and have different ideas what happens on Earth. Does it happen to you as well? Well, of course, we've got all the connections with the Earth and then the space station with Earth. And I can really follow what what goes on on Earth. But it's very interesting to see um, that there are many, there's a lot of problems sometimes in a specific space. But in space, in a couple of seconds, you are in a different place. But you understand that, uh, for example, you look at Africa, the Middle East, beautiful to look at it in colors, but you realize that on the ground there's a lot of issues happening with a lot of uh, poverty and sorrow. And that is the contrast. And still it's a beautiful picture, but you know that down there many things happen that could have been improved. Do you think that when you look at the Earth, how cherishable the Earth is, it's a little planet, uh, we have to all work together, is it something that happens in Earth that you think about too? Uh, you have to repeat the question, I'm not... Uh, I'm not hearing it. Sometimes you hear from people that when you uh, look at uh, at our planet, which is very vulnerable, uh, so when you fly above space and you see the Earth, and what do you think about that? Yes, absolutely. If you look out the window, from space, then you see also the atmosphere, and that is really interesting to see. You have the feeling that you have a very uh, fragile earth with a little skin around it, that uh, every moment can, can break, that, is, that like if you can blow it, if you blow hard enough that you can uh, peel the skin off. And that feels very vulnerable. And you also see how restricted it is. There's a lot of desert, a lot of salt water in the oceans. And the spaces for people to live are actually limited. And we are growing as a population. And I think we got a beautiful uh, planet, but we have to be very careful. It's not unlimited. The, the jungles are not unlimited. The fish in the ocean is not unlimited. Yeah. And in uh, an hour and a half, we fly around the Earth, and uh, within a few minutes, you are off for, uh, you fly for a big uh, jungle. André, heel hartelijk bedankt voor je blik op André, I'll thank you for your insights and your view from space. We, of course, will follow you uh, through Twitter and other means. Very thankful, and thank you to talk. Tot ziens. Bye-bye. Graag gedaan. Tot ziens.
It was a pleasure. Bye bye. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.